G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks so much for joining us today. We've got Sam and Mickey, and today I'm going to tell you guys a life hack. I'm going to help out my kids so that they don't get ripped off in the playground like I almost got ripped off today. I was walking along in the playground doing yard duty and this kid came up to me and goes, Sir, do you want to buy a snake off me? I said, oh, how much? He said, oh, just a dollar. I said, oh, what, you've been selling snakes, have you? He said, yeah, I have, these lolly snakes, they're delicious. I said, well, um, what, have you been bringing them in from home and, you know, you bought them cheap and you're selling them at a profit? He goes, oh, no, I've been buying them from the canteen. I said, well, why won't I just go to the canteen and buy one? He said, oh, well, what I do, sir, is I, I buy a snake from the canteen for a dollar and then I stretch it, I stretch it out like this, and then when it's like twice as long, I break it in half and then I sell each half for a dollar each. Well, how am I going to teach my kids to work out whether they've bought themselves a, you know, the, the normal size snake or whether they've just yeah, bought themselves yeah, one and they've been ripped off? Falling. So, how do you think you're going to be able to tell whether you've bought a normal snake, Mickey, mm -hmm. or whether you've bought one that's been all stretched? How are you going to tell? It would be skinnier. It'll be skinnier. So what could you do to measure whether it was skinnier? What could you use? Get a ruler. You get a ruler. Very good. You get a ruler. Measure the width of the, the snake. And the one that was skinnier would be the one that was the fake, wouldn't it? Another way you could actually do it is you could actually weigh some snakes. So for example, you could get the original snake and you could put it on the scales like so. And you could see how much an original one weighs. Now, the problem is that's not very accurate. So usually it's good in science, if you want to measure the, the mass of one thing, you measure the mass three things. And then what do you do with the final number? If you've measured the mass of three things, what do you do with the final number to get the mass of one? Divide it by three. So here, the mass is 100 grams, and so I've got three snakes, and so each one is 33 grams each. And so if I weigh a snake and it's 15 grams, then I know I'm getting ripped off. So the snakes are 33 grams each. Now what about if you don't have one of these? What can you use then? Not too sure. I'll give you an idea. You can use a can, okay? You get a can and you get a bowl. Ants, fill the Coke can with water. Green water. Yeah, green water. Okay, that Coke can is filled to the top with green water. Okay. Whoa. And now what we do, we get our original snake, you watching? And we push our snake into the can. And what, do you, see? what do you see coming out? Water. Water, that's right. Now let's try to do it. Now, I've got some water that's come out. Have a look at that, kids. How did it go down? Do you know what I need to do with this water now? No. Now I need to measure how much water there is. <laughs> Can I put the one in? Ah, not yet. <laughs> now, the snake, what? the original snake, <laughs> has a volume of 20 millilitres. There are lots okay? in there. So, a snake takes up 20 cubic centimetres. So, <laughs> that's our original snake. And now what we need to do, we put the can back in the bowl. And we get our fake snake. I want to do it. Okay, you put in the fake snake. And then we measure how much is it. Oh. How much is in that bowl. And let's measure that. Okay, I couldn't find another beaker. So what I'll do, I've got two little test tubes. And let's pour no, I can't see one the into beakers. that. That's the, that's the real snake. Mickey, you hold the real snake one. And then Sammy, this is the water from the from the stretch snake. Oh. Have a look. Now hold them up together and show the camera. Which one's got the most water? The real, the real snake. The real snake has displaced the most water and the fake snake, the one that's been stretched, displaces the smallest amount of water. Now that's called the water displacement method to measure the volume yeah. of an object. Now if you want to look at more how this was used in history, you need to look up a guy called Archimedes. He had a job to work out whether the king's crown was made out of gold or whether it was fake. And he didn't know how to work out the answer 
and he was sitting in the bath one day and when he sat in the bath and displaced the water he worked out that he was able to work out how much volume a substance took up by how much water was displaced and then he jumped out of the bath naked and called out Eureka and then he ran down the road stark naked because he'd found the answer to the problem. Dada! Oi, snake's alive, hey? One last thing. Sammy, do you wanna do you wanna pull the handle on this? <laughs> you like that? Can I take this? Okay, alright. So please please comment. Tell us, tell us what you think. Please give us the thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for any other episodes, Sammy. please let us know. Was that a fun episode, kids? All right. We'll say bye-bye.